Thank you very much for your reservation with the Lincoln Navigator L. This is, of course, Lincoln's uh, top-of-the-line SUV, full-size SUV. This is the seven-passenger, four-wheel drive. This is a great vehicle if you've got four or five passengers and a lot of luggage or seven passengers and medium-sized luggage. If you're going to be picking this up from the airport, then you'll be using more than likely the door code on the driver's side door that you'll be sent to get in. You punch that code in and you'll be able to access the vehicle. This vehicle has power running boards. This is just gonna be a quick tutorial. I'll show you some of the tricks, tips, and uh, setting up some things on the car when you get into it. Inside the center console, you'll find the key. That's got uh, all your main functions, lock, unlock, uh, two times for the uh, power tailgate. Um, up here, pressing that twice will remote start the motor. Go ahead and hop in. Push button start, of course. All your climate controls are gonna be right down here. You've got both cooled and heated seats for the driver and the passenger. All of your options and settings here in the infotainment system. This obviously has uh, radio, Bluetooth, USB connections, which you can find here in the center console area. Going into the climate settings, you can adjust obviously all of the temperature controls for the driver and passenger up front. The rear passengers, you'll wanna go ahead and press this function and you can see you've got separate controls and functions for the rear seat passengers in this vehicle. There's another way that you can access those controls, which I'll show you here in a moment. If you go into the back of the vehicle, your rear passengers have their own FM radio controls and they also have their own climate controls, both heated seats for these two passengers, these two captain's chairs, and then they can adjust their climate control independently or you can control it from the front, which I just showed you. You've also got uh, auxiliary controls here for power. You've got 110 grounded volt uh, power port there for plugging in accessories. Rear DVD headrests for both the rear passengers here. Here's your rear seating area, bench seat in the back. Uh, you will find in the vehicle, there's going to be a couple of sets of headphones which can be plugged in directly into the monitors here. These are adjustable. To turn these on with the vehicle on, you just press the power button. You'll also find a packet here with uh, DVDs. Uh, you can, of course, bring your own, but this is provided for you, so you've got some movie options there. Functioning on these, with a DVD or a movie in, it'll automatically start playing. To run the same movie on both screens, if you turn on both displays, it'll give you the option of where you want the video to come from. So you can either have two separate movies playing for two separate passengers, or by pressing the source button here, you can scroll through and uh, effectively get to the DVD from the first display. And I'll cycle through here. So there you go, you can see now we've got the video on both monitors. Going back up front here, a couple of other functions and controls. To connect your phone, you're gonna go up here. You'll see either a searching for phone or a connect phone option. By tapping that, it's gonna give you the option to add device in the upper right hand corner. From Search here- sync on your device and select sync once it is found. This number here is gonna be displayed um, on your phone once your phone is turned on and Bluetooth is on and discoverable. This vehicle will show up as sync and this is the number that it will have you punch in to confirm that that is the uh, device that you want to connect. Going back here to the main screen, the upper right hand corner of this is going to take you into your navigation settings. You can of course input navigation here, or you can use your phone for Bluetooth or however you'd like to do that. And then, of course, your climate controls, and then this is going to be your radio options and connecting um, for Bluetooth or music or however you want to do USB, all that kind of stuff. There's your Bluetooth stereo, all of those kinds of functions. You've got uh, redundant controls here on the steering wheel for all of that. Um, light controls are automatic, but you do have the ability to turn on uh, independently separate functions here. If you're in a tight parking space and you want to go ahead and fold the mirrors in, your center control here for the mirrors, if you just pull that straight back, that will power fold in both of your side mirrors to put them back. You just give that another pull. 
Um, down in the middle here, 4x2 automatically is going to be on. If you're in snow and you want to go in a 4x4 auto, that's the best setting for that. If you get into a really sticky situation, 4x4, of course. Those are really the main functions you're going to use, though, are 4x2 and 4x4. Um, in good weather, you don't need to mess with any of it. But if you get into a situation where the roads are pretty nasty, 4x4 auto is what you're going to want. Power lift gate button here. This can also be controlled with the remote. Notice those power running boards again. Fuel fill up, this does take regular. Back here, I'm gonna show you a couple more things. Power lift gate to shut and open, of course, is right there. You can go ahead and power fold these rear seats if you're not needing as much space. There's a couple things you're gonna to wanna to do. The first thing is you see these little pole things here. Go ahead and give that a tug and that will power, or I'm sorry, not power, but that will fold down the headrest. And then you can go ahead and you can press this button here. Left does the left. And of course, right does the right. And you can see those fold down pretty nicely. With these folded down, you can still very, very comfortably fit four passengers and a ton of other cargo. If you've got a golf outing, you've got tons of carry-ons or baggages or whatever, you're gonna be able to fit tons and tons of cargo back here. Otherwise, you can keep these folded up and this is still gonna give you ample storage, including seven passengers. It's just gonna be a little bit tighter back here. To put the headrest back up, you just simply grab that and pull it right on back. I'll go ahead and shut that. Show you one more thing in the rear compartment here, or in the center compartment, I should say. If you want to get these seats down and out of the way, there's a couple different things. So these have the same little pull latch for the headrest here. If you give that a pull, you can go ahead and fold that down. You can also go ahead and grab this, give that a pull, and that will fold there. If you want to put this into cargo mode, if you're putting something big in here, you can give this pull and that will actually allow that to set flat down. With those seats folded down and this folded down, it effectively is one big flat area. Go ahead and put that back up, and that just pops right back into place. Armrest for both of these seats here. And that's gonna be pretty much a uh, walk around of the Lincoln Navigator L. Thank you very much again for your rental, and enjoy.